Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder Let's Play by Dadalic Entertainment. And Viva Media! Edna and Hobby, the breakout. This is a really cool game. Uh, funny, witty, lots of great dialogue, and I'm in the adventuring mood this month, if you haven't noticed. Uh, this is by the same company that brought us the Whisper ah. World. And there's actually uh, a new Edna and Harvey on its way out. This is a German company, so uh, sometimes it takes a while for us to get the game translated into English. Um, and this is a great adventure company. I'm really glad that it's still around and they're making great adventures, so we want to thank <laughs> Thank them very much for that. Because this is a dying genre. Very unfortunate. Okay, bye. Pokey. It's Edna the Kraken. She's a little crazy. What's going on? Nothing. Doopy 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 doop. Pah! <laughs> Edna and Harvey, the breakout. Edna is the crazy bitch, and Harvey is her little blue bunny, who she likes to talk to. As you can see, it's like any other adventure game. You can look at, pick up, talk to. We have our inventory here. Uh, Harvey is part of the inventory. We can talk to him. Um, hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? What is this place? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? And what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. How's it going, Harv? How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. I'll go and have a look around then. I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. Let's look at the table. Nice underwear, bitch. I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. My most generous hosts have granted me a whole chair. Ooh, ah. Not without consulting my interior decorator. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls.
Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Hey? Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am I? Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Instead of repeating all the dialogue, I think I'll just make schneid and obscene comments to everybody. Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? Why don't I stick this blue bunny rabbit up your little ass? I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right, she isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple. The both of you. <laughs> I just noticed how much of a doofus you are. Doofus? Are you calling me a doofus? This doofus is about to come in there and show you his infamous backhand. Oh, 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 I'm scared. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I, well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. Watch your mouth! Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth. I've never stolen anything in my life. I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 Iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. It's kind of a gay story. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini golfer, I'm sure. Yep. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father and son relationships. Yes. My father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat, just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway, thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. What a puss. My poor father. My father's a puss too. Just you wait. I hope you suffocate in there. You can forget about me turning on the AC for you. All right. So one of the things we do need to do uh, at some juncture here is get him to uh, toggle the AC off and on and all that good stuff. So. Detachable chair legs. Junk from the discount furniture dealer. 
Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. I've detached the leg. Mayhem! Yippee! Alright, so we've added a detached chair leg to our inventory. Oops! I broke my chair leg. Yeah, baby! Let's trash the whole place! Let's do it! Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Stop walking around, you nincompoop. I've created a piece of art. You sure have. Hey! Hello! Alright, this time we'll be nice to him. I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you. Tell me more about your club. I've already told you everything about it. My father gave it to me. Yep, yep, yeah. A formidable man. I wonder if my father was a mini golfer too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but mini golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father a mini golfer. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? Uh, you know what? I'm not the least bit interested in your father. Hey, show a little more respect, will ya? I could get rather touchy when somebody is trash-talking my father. He taught me everything I know about mini-golf. Tell me more about your father. Ah, <sighs> my father. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Yep, yep, a formidable... Uh, hey, right, we need to I get, get rid of taught... Can we talk about something else? Only if we have to. But if we really must, fire away. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? 
an air conditioner behind the padding. That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe later. I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you? That yes, yep. you told us. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. Mm -hmm. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. There seems to be a passage behind this particular cushion. Aha! It's an airy gap. There's a ventilator behind the grate. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh. You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. But I use you. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Aw, oh, come on. You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast. That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that. But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past. Cool. Tempo morph. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Shit, yeah. Yeah, tempo morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. Here we go. So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was... Albert, or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Prince Alfred Albert. Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no! You better believe it! He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa! But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. Harvey is able to collect topics via drag and drop. He can chat with Edna about them by dragging the icon onto her. 
If he wishes to use them later, he can collect them by dropping the icon in the toolbar on the lower rim of the screen. Blop, blop, bidi, bloop, blop. Yeah, I'm a little blue bunny, yay! It's a solid rake with a long handle. So we can drop icons down here. As you can see, you can pretty much take anything. loosen these screws to get out of here. He's a genius. That doesn't really help us much, does it? Now we've got the same problem as the one in the present. Oh, right. I'll have another look around. I promise you I'll get us out of here. Maybe we can find something that fits into the keyhole. Hmm, let's see. Maybe something like... A key? Jeez, why so cranky? Sorry, Harvey. I was just so looking forward to the past. And now, all I get to see is this basement. I'll find a way out. Don't worry. Better, you stupid blue bucktooth bunny. Did you already try the handle? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this temple morphing wasn't such a good idea after all. You don't know how I can get out of here. Don't worry, I'll teach you. And that will help you in the present as well. Can you reach the window with a rake? Hmm, this almost sounds like it could work. I could give it a try, if you let me. All right, so kind of like uh, Book of Unwritten Tales, you can switch between multiple characters uh, just by clicking on the Edna icon down here. We can change it to her and back to Harvey. Not without his permission. Well, use Harvey. There we go. We use the rake to open the window. And switch back to Harvey here. Um, Edna? Will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. Toss his ass out there. Alright, so now we're outside. We can look at all kinds of other garbage. You can re literally spend an extra few hours of dialogue just gathering everything from the game and asking about everything, which is really how you uh, figure out a lot of the puzzles the first time you play through the game. Oh, there's somebody sitting there! The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right, hey, isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum. Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it. I think we should drop some little blue bunny turds in their ice cream. HLI developers, New Rhymes, Chaos Phonetics researchers from the nanosyllable laboratories of the Henry Lake Institute for Applied Linguistics have managed to isolate three new rhyme pairs with the help of the part participle accelerator. Accordingly, in future final syllables, ought will rhyme with ing, used with it, and easel, and ifs. These new findings give poetry three new important combinations that enable poets to express complex circumstances such as the conductor was confused, forget the and sail he did, or and so the weasel thought, tomorrow I'll go jogging in rhyme form. Whatever. 
Chestnut Thief on the run again. In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. It's messed up. This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. That's effing retarded. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed off toenail. Hmm. Chewed off toenail. That'll definitely unscrew screws. I've done that before. Am I dreaming? Isn't that Alfred, Dr. Marcel's son? Edna had to play with him a lot back then. He was the most obnoxious kid in the whole town. And here he is together with Edna's father having ice cream. Something stinks. Yeah. Something does stink. Like donkey shit. Edna used to be pretty cool, even back then. Um, Edna? Yeah? Don't forget to drag and drop your items that you intend on using. Well, you'll have to backtrack. We don't want to backtrack too much in a Let's Play. Shit gets annoying. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again! Oh no! Not again! Last time he took three trees in our street alone! Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed off toenail. Really? Hmm... A knot off toenail shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? That's gross. has a not off toenail. I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. Me too. I can't believe it. It really did work. The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, the temple morph is over. No! no! Dang! It was all just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? Uh, probably in the same place. An insane asylum. So now are you going to use uh, our toenail here from the Harvey ability? With the screws. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh! You, you, what do you mean? You, uh, shut up. We should keep it in there. That's the last thing a juicy steak gets to see before it's turned into hamburger. All right, so we need to turn off the fan. That shouldn't be too hard. Piss off, doofus. Hello? Well, sweetheart, what is it now? You're a short little turd. That's what it is. 
I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you that- Yes, yep. about seven times. Shut up. Tell me more. Uh, Jeffrey, yeah, a fool. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> you're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you. Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. Oh, don't do it. Only this fan stands between me and my freedom. I think if I apply a little bit of force, I can pry it out of its casing. Help a lady out here, will you, Harvey? And... Ugh. No. It's broken. But we could build a perfect broken helicopter from the parts! What on earth would we possibly do with the broken helicopter? Right. We'd still need somebody who could fix it. Or we could just try and find another way out of here. All the better. There must be hundreds of people out there who can fix a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> sexy, Edna, sexy. This Edna is a real challenge, Holgar. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, maybe we can listen in on what they're saying. What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, this Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. Stay tuned, folks, for another exciting episode of Edna and Harry. I mean, Edna and Harley. I mean, Edna and Harvey. Yes, that's it. Next episode, Edna will find out more about her father and hopefully get out of this fucking loony bin. <laughs>